Okay, we've got a Lincoln SA200. I'm gonna show you what you need to do to adjust your high speed, your low speed idle, to get the RPMs that are desired by Lincoln before they set the armature and stamp it. And I'm gonna show you how to get your 93 maximum OCVs or a little bit less. A lot of people say, oh, just go and measure your output for your tools on your outlet right here. They say, right here, we want 115. That's a bunch of bogans. No good. You want coming out of your leads or your output posts that are over here no more than 93 open circuit bolts. This screw right here is your low speed. This post right here and this stop you want when the welder is turned off 1 32nd to 1 16th of a gap in between the two. This bar linkage and this linkage coming from, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's not important, will adjust your slot. This spring tension between these two nuts will adjust your slot. This is your high speed adjustment right here. This, this, and this will be how you get the butterfly valve inside your carburetor to stop surging. It takes playing with. But you must keep this screw giving you a low speed idle of 1000 to 1050 RPMs and this screw adjusting right here between its tension on this lever and the tension of this spring giving you 1,550 RPMs. To make it easy because it's backed up in my truck, I have a flat cap. I can't take my cap off to get a measurement for the speed. I took my cover off for my armature. Right here on the edge where you can see the brushes don't ride because the copper is shiny. I've got a piece of reflective tape that my tachometer will pick up on. I'm going to show you high speed and low speed idles to show you that I have it set within 1,050 low speed and 1,550 high speed. After I show you that, I will then show you that I have no more than 93 OCV output between my leads.
high idle and the low idle are very close. Colder, hotter outside, moisture in the air, engine temperature, all varies on your idle speed. It is carbureted, it is not fuel injected, it does not have a computer. Therefore, it will vary slightly. Tolerances are pretty lenient. To adjust your OCVs, we've got a term that's called rolling the rack, bumping it to the cab. You loosen this 7 16 bolt right here. And this rack that holds all of your brushes and the brush holders, if you roll it counterclockwise, it will make your OCBs colder. If you bring it to you, it will make them hotter. Mine happen to be at 1550 RPMs, 97 OCV. That is incorrect. It will burn up your tools when you're trying to use them. I rolled it away. I got it just under 93. Tighten that bolt back down. Made sure all these are still tight. Fired it up. Double checked all my measurements. And it was perfect. It's exactly where it needs to be. That is the correct way.